Welcome back to Suvita Everything, guys. Today, the well done steak experiment. I know, sounds weird, bear with me, check it out. We all have family members that like well done steak, that is a fact. The problem with well done steak is that the more you cook it, the less juiciness it will be. I've even heard that in some famous steakhouse, if you order a well done steak and it's a prime cut, they'll give you a less cheaper cut because it doesn't make much difference when you're eating it well done. To really enjoy any type of meat and steak properly, it should be cooked medium rare. However, I do believe there's one exception and one only that will be the skirt steak. I believe that this steak can take the high temperature. It will not be better, but it will not be unedible if we cook it well done. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. So let's do it. The first thing I like to do is to score the meat so all my seasoning would really penetrate. For the seasoning, I'm only seasoning with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Here in Miami, we always eat skirt steak with some type of sauce, so I'm doing one of my favorites. Check it out. Remember, exact amount in the description down below. We start off with parsley, garlic, shallots, black pepper, table salt, red white vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, and to finish it off, pimenta malagueta, the best Brazilian spice there is. I'm cooking all the steaks at separate containers, one at 135 degrees Fahrenheit, the other at 145 degrees Fahrenheit, and the well done cooked at 155 degrees Fahrenheit. They're all gonna be cooked for two and a half hours. The steaks are ready and we're gonna take it out. Let's do it. All right guys, so as I can tell right away, the one that was at lower temperature, look, has doesn't have as much juice as the other one. So a lot of juices already escaped from these higher temperature steak. But anyway, what it's worth it, it's the taste in the end. Now we're gonna open these bad boys, we're gonna pat them dry, and we're gonna sear them. Let's do it. My good friend Ninja, what do you think, bro? Love it. It is a visual experiment. So for today, you will have to be blindfolded, my friend. Let's cut it open, let's go. All right, go for it, Ninja. We want to know. What it's it a big piece, though. Should I cut it? <laughs> Man. <laughs> Is it good, Ninja? We want to know. It's awesome, bro. It's awesome, it's but... <sighs> okay, say, let's... No, be honest. Say it. Say whatever you want to say, because they're going to be all very different. I want to try the next one. Okay, you want to try... he wants to try the next one, everybody. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Guys, this one was really good, but it was not delicious. So for so far, number A is winning for you. Oh yeah. I want some chimichurri, bro. I will give you the chimichurri. I want a chimichurri, man. Yeah, it's not chimichurri, it's salsita. Say salsita. Same thing, bro. <laughs> Smell like chimichurri, look like chimichurri. I know. Go for a ninja. Mm. Mm. Uh-oh. If you don't like this steak, you don't love your mom. And that is the best churrasco, the most delicious churrasco I ever had in my life. That thing is awesome. That thing is amazing. I love you. Okay. We're out. Tell me about the first one. What is it? The first one has a really, really nice flavor. Mm -hmm. 
is really, really tender, which is difficult to get in every churrasco. Not every churrasco come on tender like that. The beef is there, the flavor is there, it's super tender. The second one is really good, really good flavor. I would pay for that steak, I don't have any problem, but it's not as tender as the, the first one. The last steak was from the most beautiful cow that used to walk in Mars. That thing was awesome. That thing was beautiful and those bad ETs brought her here and that's the result guys. This is awesome. Go for it Mama, tell me. You can already see the difference but I want to know your honest opinion. Mm. Very tender, very beefy. Um, it's good. Go for the next one. Go for this one. Steak B is good. I think I prefer steak A. I'm not very much for a well done steak but I prefer steak A. Go for the last one Mama. Mm. Scratch yeah. that out. Steak C is the champ. Guys, if you ever want to cook a well done steak for your family, this is the type of steak to do it because it can take the high temperature. If you try to do the same thing with a ribeye, forget about it. It's not going to work. Obviously, medium rare will be much, much better. But well done, this steak is the one to do it. Anyway, now it's time to try the Salsita Ninja. I want to know your honest opinion. Oh yeah, give it to me. All right, let's go. You down for the Pimenta Malagueta? No, for anything, bro. This is my kick your butt a little bit. You ready? Who cares, bro? Ooh. Ooh, this is so good. <coughs> you, have to yeah. me, you have to give me a recipe. You never tried Pimenta Malagueta? You have to try it, everybody. It's on the description down below. You have to try it. Recipe down there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. And remember, if you're interested in anything I use, everything is in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. And remember, if you're gonna cook a steak, cook a medium rare. But if somebody in your family really likes well done, this is the steak to do it. Agree? And if you don't have nobody in your family that like it like that, I can send you my mother-in-law. <laughs> Does she like it? <laughs> and you're gonna enjoy it a lot. Why ninja? Why do they because do that? Because it's a visual thing, man. It's not it something is. that... Uh, it is a visual thing. It's not a palate thing. It is a hundred percent visual thing. If you see the juices coming out and they think it's blood, which is not blood. It is not blood. But they think it is. They go like, oh, it's bloody. For example, if you see Kunk, <laughs> on the wow, you will never eat that thing. No. But once you cut it up and cook it, man, Tastes that thing is amazing. awesome. Amazing. When are you gonna catch one for us? We have to go to Bahamas. Yeah, here is illegal. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye. Love you.